sins in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we come before you. We pray that you speak to each one of us at our personal level. Remind us, even as we wait, you still reign. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Kenyatta University community, I thank God for you. And I thank the Lord for Kenyatta University management under the leadership of our able Vice Chancellor, Professor Paul Wainaina, for the opportunity to serve this time. I hope you and your families are keeping safe. Thank you so much for your resilience during these uncertain and unprecedented times. The world is dark and filled with the pain. There are times when evil seems to be winning the day. We could be wondering, what do we do with this long stay at home? And you don't see the next step. We all long for something to put our hope in. Sometimes, as we look for something, other times we are disappointed. For example, relationships, our health, jobs, dreams, and even the hope to complete our studies. I want to encourage us that even amidst what you are going through, God still reigns. God still reigns. And I want to read from the book of Psalm 47, verse 8. God reigns over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. Then from Psalm 97, verse 1. The Lord reigns. Let the earth rejoice. And this is scripture which should encourage us at such a time as this. Although what you are going through is unique, God knew it would happen. And I want us to listen keenly that even though we are going what you are going through, God knew it would happen. He knows why this is happening. He knows why there is COVID-19 and he knows why there is a prolonged stay at home. And he also knows exactly how long this is going to continue. The fact that God knows and he is in control is a message of hope for us. While all news and social media are flooded with depressing and discouraging messages, we have a reason to hope. Nothing occurs beyond the reach of God's power. This is a period in time when we need to remind ourselves continually that God's power is all sufficient for us. As Christians, our response is very critical because it influences the world around us. Even as we are now in difficult days, because of COVID-19, our reaction is extremely important and we have a profound impact on others. What if you could put your hope in God who reigns in all situations? Remember in all things, number one, God is directly involved. Number two, he is the creator. He is a God who cares for his creation. That means wherever you are, he is concerned with every detail 
of your life. Even when you will resume what you have today and what you have tomorrow. And then number three, when the forces of evil have done everything they can to oppose God's will, God will stand victorious. And since this is true, you and I who are his people can rejoice and be happy to know he reigns, he is in control, he is the boss, he is the Lord, he is in charge. If God is for us, who can be against us? Romans chapter 8, verse 31. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.